finally back. Mostly. So I've still got a piece of the bug, but I've managed to fight most of it off. It's kind of like that leftover cough. I will do my best not to cough on y'all. But no promises. And I totally don't remember what we were doing. So, this should be interesting. Give me a second, just making sure everything's working okay. Yeah, cool. Alright. I don't remember how to play. I've been playing the Switch a lot lately. So I've been, you know, safe, stuck in the bed. Yo! <clears throat> I genuinely have no idea what's going on right now. Hey, number one fan. Everything sound okay? <coughs> oh, goodness gracious. That's gonna be all night. I'm sorry. A little loud. Is that better? You have to let me know if it's better. Oh, Makoto. Hero. Then the letter I found in my room? You know? Yup. I wrote it. Oh, okay. That's right. There was a letter it said to come at night. <coughs> oh, oh my gosh. I'm sorry, guys. That's gonna be all night. Your handwriting is really nice. Hmm. Well, I was always taught that if you had bad penmanship, a ghost would come and haunt you. Who taught you that? And why'd you want to meet with me? Hmm. Oh, I uh, I just did what Kyoko asked me. Oh boy. Yoko. Actually, I'm just an errand boy on this. Hmm. Anyway, would you say to a late night bath session? Huh? You know? Okay, let's do it. No, I ain't. <clears throat> I was totally lost. Here, grabbed me by the shoulder, pulled me close, and whispered into my ear. Hmm. For serious? It's all an act. So the mastermind won't notice. Everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. <clears throat> I feel like you'd notice if everyone was in the bathhouse. What? Then did Alter Ego finish the search? Mm, you got it, hero. Let's take a dip together. It was probably louder than I needed to be. But me and Hero hurried to the dressing room. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh, great. Y'all are gonna have to forgive me if the voices don't sound right. I'm still getting my voice back. I got a piece of it back yesterday and I have most of it today, but still can't get rid of this cough. <clears throat> as soon as I got to the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. F you! Hey, you! How long were you gonna keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. <clears throat> it's almost ten o'clock, you know that. Bedtime for all the good little boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Shut up! What? What'd you say? You want me to make you cry like a little girl? <laughs> Taka, he seems to be even worse off than I'd heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. <clears throat> maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality.
What? You got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours, you know that? How rude, maggot like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven sent master. Oh. Hmm. Are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. Sorry. <clears throat> I was clearing my throat off camera. Mike? Off mic. <laughs> Shut up! Hey, come on! Well, anyway, everyone's here, right? Then my messenger duty is complete. Hey! Oh boy. <clears throat> you wanted all of us to meet here, right, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? <clears throat> How about that? <clears throat> Isn't it obvious? It's gonna have something to do with Alter Ego, right? That's right! Yeah, totally. Did he find a clue? What is it? A way out? The mastermind's true identity? Anything? Oh no. It's gone. Gone. I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered Alter Ego, the laptop, has disappeared. What? No way! <clears throat> You're kidding, right? Oh. Um... Huh? What? She's gone! F you! Can't be fudging serious. What'd you do with him? Hmm. Was it the mastermind? Did he finally notice what we were up to? Wrong. I told all the evil to yell if anyone who didn't recognize appeared. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Well. Maybe we just missed it? However. I was in the laundry room right next door at one thing. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But if it wasn't a mastermind, then... <laughs> what? The solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It could only have been him. Without a doubt. Mr. Ishimori, you stole her, didn't you? The ultimate moral compass. I would never do something like that. Hmm. I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. F you. You're the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a big jiggling sack of fat. <laughs> Shows what you know. This isn't my true form. I still have three more transformations left. Damnation! Er, wait, I mean, it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. <laughs> Wrong, it's you. Serious. Well, I'm sure it was one of you, so whoever it did it, just hurry up and confess. Wrong. No, there's no way either one of them did it. Huh? Hmm? Why not? So... I told Walter Eagle to yell with either Taka or Hifumi came into the dressing room. What? <sighs> there was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. <sighs> but I never heard any yell. Indeed. Exactly. Which means it wasn't them. But... Then... who was it? So that's it. The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind, and it wasn't Taka or Hifumi, and quite simply, it was someone else. Hmm. Interesting. Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, Hina, Toko, and myself. One of us must be the thief. That's terrible! Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? Hey, Dongan, Dong, on, on a, I can't pronounce that. Hold on. Dongan on Kuma. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. You'll have to excuse the coughing. I'm getting over a bug. <clears throat> How about this for a reason? There's a traitor among us. That's pretty sus, Bakugan. Hmm. One of us is working for the Mastermind, a spy. And that's the one who stole Alter Ego. Can you deny the possibility? It can't be. Hmm. 
I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might be a spy among us. The mastermind brought someone here to help keep things moving smoothly. A spy for the mastermind? A traitor? No, it's impossible. Something that horrible. There's no way. What? Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? Anyone save her! Please rescue her. I'm begging you. <clears throat> I just want to see her smiling face again. Damn it! Same here. How many times do they have to kill Bro before they're happy? I have never played any of these before. Um. I, was, I really wanted to play him. Well, welcome in. It's uh, nice to have some new faces in here. I th think we're at the halfway point. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> it's allergy season everywhere. It's ridiculous. It's taking me out. I'll beg, I'll scrape my head across the ground. Just please give him back. So, um... This is pretty messed up, but still, I think I kind of get a get how they feel. At the very least. I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe. For the moment, at least. Yes, indeed. If they wanted to destroy it, they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. I see. Thanks. The voices totally tear up my throat, but a lot of people like them, so I keep them going. Sakura kills my throat every time. <clears throat> so you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him? Something else? Damn it! That doesn't matter. Nothing. Nothing else matters. Does it speed up? It's been kind of slow the last couple episodes. Episodes. Gosh, I can talk. Yeah, they're... Just now discovered that Alter Ego is missing, so we're trying to figure that out. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna get him back. That's my promise as a man. I swear, I will save her. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's night night time. I get it. We're like half, half-ish, half-ish. That's a distance. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. <laughs> Thank you. I have gone in as spoiler free as possible. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Are there multiple endings? I didn't know there were multiple endings. Oh. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. I have Don't no idea. Bug fight. What ending we're on track for? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's night time. There is nothing to be done. It is unfortunate that we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone get some sleep. <laughs> How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. Right? I had no idea. I thought there was just the one. Huh. Now I'm worried I'm gonna get us to bad ending. <laughs> <sighs> what good are you if you are too tired? You will be much more effective after a good night's sleep. <laughs> Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here. Calm down. <clears throat> Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. 
We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? I agree with you. If we run around tonight in a panic, the Master Mind is sure to notice, and we won't get anything done. Um, I guess the better of the endings? Is there a difference? Is one better than the other? Taka, Ifumi, I know how you feel right now, but it's best if just for the night you can try to endure it. <sighs> Going back to a checkpoint to get the good thing. Oh, okay, so it's not like a playthrough redo. That's good at least. <clears throat> hmm, alright. <laughs> Well, I had no idea. This is fine. Okay, then let us part for today. We will begin our search for Alter Eagle in the morning. <laughs> and you should think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying for the mastermind. Oh, there is a preference for the endings. Hmm. Well... If it's not too much of a hassle, I guess I can try to do both. <laughs> I try to interact as much as I can. You're good, no worries. <clears throat> Alter Eagle, gone as quickly as he appeared. He finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us, and we couldn't even put up a fight. We were giving him hope, and then when that hope was taken away, despair. It was just like... Just like what the Mastermind is doing to us. Then could it really be true? Whoever stole Alter Ego, could they really be working for the Mastermind? That's true. No, it can't be. There's no way. I didn't even realize I yelled that out loud. The scary thing is, isn't the idea of someone spying on us? What's really scary is the idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. Extra 30 minutes tops if you do both. Yeah, I'm down. If you guys want to see it, I'm, I'm more than willing to try to do both. Mind you, I have no idea how to do both. So we might end up doing both regardless. Just because I don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> I didn't even know there were multiple endings. So, I appreciate that tidbit. That scares me more than anything. Damn it. I threw myself into bed trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts. Before long, I fell into a restless sleep. Okay, you've played this before. Does this mean anything? Because we've all gone back and forth trying to figure out what this whole theater thing is. And I, I genuinely don't understand any of it. It has to be important, I guess. Oh, okay. Interesting. <clears throat> murder is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, with society. If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. Mm. I imagine the same, because it's just a port. I think. I don't think it changed anything. Sometimes, the murders that people forgive are way normal than the ones they don't. Oh, okay. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine! I think that's what was throwing us because sometimes it seems like it's relevant and other times it's just weird. Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Today we have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first things first. To the dining hall. Hmm, okay. I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. But when I found out it was waiting there for me... Do I have to walk? No, sweet don't remember how to move. Oh, all three of us. 
Cool. That makes sense. Is this it? What happened to the others? Hmm. Aren't they coming? There were only three people in the dining hall. Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So including me. Only four people? God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time with everything. However... Anyway, let's wait a little while longer for the others. Okay. So we decided to wait in case anyone else showed up. But no matter how long we waited... Um... So, it's 8 o'clock. We've been waiting here a full hour. Um, why haven't the others come? Because, I mean... Here on Celeste, have never missed a day. Till now. What I'm really worried about is Sufumi and Taka. They were more eager than anyone to look for Alter Ego, and they're not here. Nope. Voice change. My bad. <clears throat> Whoops. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Something must have happened. Hmm? It would seem... I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. Monokuma gave us a motive. There was no way something wouldn't happen eventually. Monokuma's motive. I genuinely don't remember. It's been a while. Oh, that's right. The money. Ten million dollars! Ha ha ha. Thanks, number one fan. It's just because I can't hit buttons. I'm not great at buttons sometimes. I prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. What do you think? It's ten million bucks! Ten million smackaroos! Gosh, I haven't heard smackaroos in such a long time. It's like totally wow, 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 am I right? Don't tell me someone did something for money. That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. I already understood. I understood and I hated that I did. You can never really know another person completely. Anything can happen here. And you can't consider it strange. Not really. Hey. You need to go look for the people who never showed up. Hmm. Uh, okay. Let's go track them down. Without another world wor word, we left the dining hall. Hey. We can cover more ground if we split up. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. Okay. Okay, then I guess I'll check the third floor. Anyway. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. But... I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Well, then. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Isn't that just the floor we're on? Okay. I need to look around the first floor. Okay. Maybe right here. This blackboard belongs to us now. Secret view. Know what that's about. I just can't push buttons, guys. I swear I'm good at video games. I swear. It's just been a while. Oh, there's a paper in here. This is the desk I woke up on when I first got here. The little pamphlet's still laying there. I have absolutely no desire to look at it ever again. Oh, is it being weird again? I don't know why. We've been having some issues with it. Hmm. I don't know why it's being strange. For me, you guys are just appearing immediately, so I can't tell. I'm not sure what's going on. I'll have to mess with it whenever we finish. Oh, goodness. Someone come here! What? That was Hina. She's supposed to be checking the third floor. 
There was no time to think. I was running for the stairs before I knew what was happening. Did someone die? I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away. I saw her standing there in the hallway. Please! Makoto! Hina, what's wrong? It's awful! The rec room door was open! When I looked inside, I saw... I saw... What did you see? I better get the others, right? I'm gonna go get them. You go on ahead, Makoto! Before I could say anything, she was rushing downstairs. The rec room? What's she seeing there? Oh, I don't know. What could possibly be in there that scared her? At this point, I was used to acting without thinking. So without thinking, I leapt to the rec room. The first thing I saw when I got to the rec room was... Oh! Oh, she got the crap kicked out of her. <clears throat> or was attacked by a squirrel? It's just her face. It was Celeste, and she was hurt. There's a hammer on the floor? Hold on, I'm investigating. What is this? Some kind of wooden hammer or something. Pretty strange design. There's some writing on the head. Justice Hammer 1? I don't know that makes That is the hammer he attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. I now curse my lack of daily exercise. So you were attacked with this? Just the same I want. Yeah. Um, one bar is my partner, my husband. Um, he streams all kinds of stuff. He just finished a playthrough of Vampire. And now he's playing some baseball, just till he figures out what he wants to stream next. And I'm doing this one. And I was doing a Pokemon playthrough, but my laptop corrupted my save, so I can't really do that anymore. So I'm just doing this one. We just kind of share. Whoever has the time at night gets to do it. Can I talk to you? Yes, I can. Okay. <sighs> Makoto. Celeste, what happened? I was stupid. I got attacked. Attacked? By who? I'm not sure. Some sort of strange man. Strange man? A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual. I can't help but call him strange. Ew, <laughs> baseball. I'm right there with you. I don't like baseball at all. But he's a fan, so I get it for him every year when it comes out. I thought the doubt was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. <laughs> and that man attacked me with a hammer on the ground there. Well, I, I plan on beating this one, and then I'm going to take a small visual novel break. Um... about playing the old dot hack games at least the first one because I know it's pretty long and then maybe breaking it up with the second one of Danganronpa when I need breaks from that one uh, I don't know who that is Makoto Celeste okay. it was Hina okay I found Sakura what Celeste what on earth happened here Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. Mm -hmm. A strange man. Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. Ah. Well, I woke up this morning a little before 7 a.m. My time was not yet over. But I knew it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I... I decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. Dude, Dot Hack is my jam. I played it so much when I was a kid. One bar has never seen anything about it. Okay, cool. Someone else who's excited for Dot Hack. That makes me feel better. <laughs> I was trying to tell One Bar about it, and he's just giving me the, you know, you do you, girl. <laughs> I love Dot Hack so much. 
I understand now that it was a mistake. Anyway, that is where I first saw the strange man. I was immediately wary of him. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow after him in secret. You know, instead of knocking on a door or alerting people that there's a weirdo in their building. Cool. You know, whatever. As I followed, I saw him go into the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door. Which is when he noticed me. And that's when you were attacked. It happened after 7 a.m. Just after my time had ended. So if it happened just after 7 o'clock... Huh. <clears throat> um, I have the first three. I'm missing the fourth. And then I have the... Remake? I don't know what to call it. Of um, the second series of Dot Hack games. I can't remember what they're called. I know they have a different name. Oh, that's gonna kill me. But I have most of them except for the fourth one. I probably just need a small break from Dong and Ropa with all the voice acting. It is killing my throat. Also, it's good to mix things up every so often so it doesn't get stale. but I'd probably do both games at the same time. That way it's always something different every night. Then that was just about an hour ago, right when we were all meeting in the dining hall. <sighs> the attack caused me to lose consciousness. Which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. I feel like that's too long to be unconscious for. She needs a hospital. But... Well, I'm just glad you weren't hurt too badly. Uh. That is because I begged and groveled for my life. Mm. You did. As for me... Oh, look, all the scratches are gone. Oh, magical. Right? G.U. That's what it was. I knew there was a name after it. The originals need the love. They didn't really do all that much to the second set. <clears throat> I told him I would do anything if he spared me. I offered to lick his boots, whatever it took. I see. Originals are better. Sword Art wishes it could be good as Dot Hack. So you were willing to throw away all your pride? Indeed. It is a necessary skill for survival. Anyway, the important thing now is that we go search for the suspicious individual. If we do not hurry, this could become a serious problem. <laughs> Celeste, what do you mean a serious problem? <laughs> that was a weird cut. When I looked in the rec room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him Ifumi. Ifumi? <laughs> After he attacked me, he dragged the Fumi away. What? And <laughs> we're just sitting around here chit-chatting. It's good. No one likes the hamster man anyway. <clears throat> you mean Fumi was kidnapped? Um. Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste, did anything particular stand out about the strange man? Uh. Did anything stand out? Well. Rather than explaining, it wouldn't be probably faster if I simply showed you. <laughs> I'm always down for friends. Oh, man. Allergies are killing me. It is a ripoff. Sword art is just straight trash compared to Dot Hack. These young whippersnappers don't know what they're missing. Show us. Indeed. This is Ifumi's hand-me-down, his digital camera. Oh, the one we gave him. You don't mean... Actually... I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. Huh? Seriously? Let's see it. <laughs> I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. With that 
strange comment in mind. We all looked at the camera. It doesn't look like he's getting dragged away. It looks more like he's getting a hug. By RJ, apparently. Or the camera. Maybe it's JR? I don't know. In this game, Kyoko. I like Kyoko a lot. And the murder bear, Monokuma. I like him too. And I like Jinko before she died. <sighs> what? Well, they were definitely right about the strange part. Their face is completely covered. Is that a robot costume? <clears throat> she seems the most level-headed. I like her design. As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual. Yes. That is what we lovingly call Monokuma around here. And then Hifumi is Hamster Man. And Byakuga is Byakugan. Because I couldn't pronounce his name for like the first like four or five hours of the game. I can now, but it's still Byakugan. Um, I think that's it. I don't think we have any names for anyone else. So this weird robot guy dragged Kafumi away? And I took this right after being attacked. Well, it's a good picture for being unconscious. You know, Celeste's story is not really making much sense. I'm gonna be honest. There's some holes. Hmm. Good picture for being knocked unconscious. <laughs> Enough other words, a full hour ago. Which is why if we don't worry, it could become a serious problem. I see. <clears throat> I believe I understand what happened. No, there is much I don't understand, but... Hmm. The point is, if someone might dress like that dragged Hifumi away. And it happened over an hour ago. Just a second! This is bad! We have to hurry! I swear her eyes change color sometimes. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe it's because I stream at weird times. We have a lot of people who come in and watch it after we're done. I like our little small community. So like two, three of us that come in. It's always fun. Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? Let's see. When they left the rack room, they headed left. I see. If that's true, they were headed toward the stairs leading down to the second floor. And they must be down there, right? Oh, I don't know, it was an hour ago. Hmm. The second floor? That's where Kyoko was supposed to be. Huh? Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Um... Sorry, I didn't have time to go look for her. This is bad. Yeah, it is bad. <clears throat> if the strange man did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry. Kyoko's in danger. As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed out of the room and down to the second floor. Oof, good luck on finals. I do not miss that. Yeah. Fingers crossed. I hope you do well. We're rooting for you. Yeah, I'm usually here most nights. Anywhere from like 9 to 10 starting. And if it's not me, it'll be one bar. I don't know what he's gonna play next. I'm curious. But we love having people to interact with. It's fun. Mm, I bet that. I forget what I did and what I didn't. Let's see. Who's the left? Yakugan, maybe? Hey, you two. What? Hey, I guessed right. What's going on? What's all the fuss? <laughs> Yeah, you guys playing a game or something? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm sure I can talk him out of baseball. 
Maybe. We'll see. He really likes his baseball. But I'm usually here if he's not. We usually don't stream on Sundays because we like to take a break at least. So we can hang out with our daughter. What are you saying? Does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Listen, have either of you seen Kyoko or Hifumi? You gotta be kidding! <laughs> nope, nope, shit have it! Are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. It's heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. <laughs> we came here together. Stop talking. No, you're just stalking me. Anyway, can you guys help us look for them? Cool. Um, if you do want to watch the series that I'm not on, we have a uh, YouTube, which is. Uh, the same as our um, Twitch handle, One Bar at Games. And I've got a whole playlist up there that's, um, I think it's all updated. I think the last episode that I streamed is up there. So you can always watch that if you need something in the background. <laughs> Thanks. What? Why? What happened? Ugh. There's no time now. We'll explain later. That's fine. Well, fine. This sounds like something interesting is going on. Okay. Hifumi, Kyoko, if you can hear me, say something! Her voice echoed down the hall in vain. Mm. Hmm? Oh! Did you hear something? Hmm. Maybe. Perhaps. I think it came from the library. Okay. Library? Okay, let's go. We ran to the library as fast as we could carry this. Can we just ask Byakugan? I'm sure. Ugh. Ugh. Look, during the trials, I can't time the buttons very well, and I miss, and it's a lot of repeating and struggling to get my brain to comprehend what's going on. I think I repeated one section, like, for a solid 5-10 minutes. It was so bad. <laughs> In my defense, it was late. I was tired. But it was it was awful. You would not believe that I used to play games like competitively. It made no sense. Oh, it was so bad. Don't watch. <laughs> when we open the door to the library. Oh, there's a movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. He got bonked. <clears throat> It hurts. It hurts. We found Hifumi seriously injured. Are you okay? Okay. Sweet. It's not just me. Sometimes it doesn't make any sense. Because they'll say something and I'm like, okay, I need to do this. And it's wrong. It's, it's wrong. And then I realize everyone in the chat is yelling at me the answer and I just, I just didn't see it. <sighs> It's so bad. I'm so bad at the trial. Um, <clears throat> I'm glad to see you're still alive. <laughs> Girls stick together. Yeah. I feel like her hair clip is just a like a. Um... Oh god, I can't. Like literally just a paper clip. That's what it looks like. It's a paper clip. <laughs> <laughs> Super bad though. Look at all the blood. What? How did you get hurt? Mm -hmm. That guy hit me. What guy? Mm -hmm. Robo Justice. Ah, uh, that's what I decided to call him just now. What? What did you say? <laughs> Every so often, Byakugan actually says something, and I realize I can't keep up with him. Oh, you're fine. I don't have any bots or anything that'll block you, so it's just Twitch. It's not me, I promise. You can talk as much as you want, and I'll answer as much as I can. I appreciate having someone to talk to. <clears throat> what are you talking about? Oh, there's another hammer. 
a hammer, just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room. But this one is... Justice Hammer 2? And on top of that, this one is actually a little bigger than the first one. You wouldn't know it, it looks smaller, but, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. He attacked me with that hammer! He brought me right in the head with it! Well... A hammer that big? I'm surprised you're still okay. I appreciate it. So you played this game before? The last trial where Mondo killed... Uh, who was it? Chihiro. It was really hard to figure stuff out. There were just so many gaps. I had no idea what was going on going into it. Yeah, let me, let me struggle a little bit. And if I'm hitting my head in the wall and we're not making any progress, feel free to throw out vague hints. Usually I can figure it out. Sometimes. Sometimes. I'm not okay. Look at all this blood. Hey. Protein helps heal wounds, you know. Would you like some? Right? I felt so bad for Chihiro. We have a bit of a track record of um, befriending everyone just before they die. It's, uh, it's not going well for us. <laughs> I have never heard such a thing. Are you sure it didn't just you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I read the tutorial stuff. Still can't do it. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, this time we befriended Kyoko and Celeste, I think. And the last time there was Chihiro. And the one behind that, uh, behind that, before that was um, the pop star. I can't remember her name. Carson would kill me. Uh, I can't remember his name. Her name. She had the blue hair. She was the first one to die. I can't remember what her name was. But literally, every time we become friends with someone, they died. I was really hoping this time, Kyoko will not die. I will be sad. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't like that. <laughs> That's not good. That guy was Robo Justice. Indeed. This Robo Justice you're referring to is this, is it not? What the hell am I looking at? <laughs> I love when their voices actually work. This is the one that attacked Celeste and Hifumi. Isn't that right, Hifumi? This is unforgivable! Yeah, that's him, I'm sure of it. Robo Justice. It can't be. Robo Justice, huh? Damn. This just keeps getting stranger. Oh boy. Oh. It's him. <laughs> A robot of justice, huh? Now things are really starting to get exciting. What kind of smash oh. What kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? <laughs> what? Why is he here? Oh boy. Probably not. It's been pretty, uh, chill lately. Are you okay with this? Let us not concern ourselves with him. What we need to do now is get Hifumi to the nurse's office right away. Whatever else we do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. Yeah! You're right, let's go. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. We still haven't found Kyoko. A first for the game. Ooh. Vague hints. And I have no idea what you're talking about. We moved Hifumi to the nurse's office on the first floor so we could take care of his injuries. And we all just idly stood there. Yep. <laughs> How are you feeling, Hifumi? You want me to take a look at you? Um, I'm okay. I think it's not bleeding. I'm still kind of dizzy, though. So then... 
perhaps you should rest here a while. I suppose. Yeah, good idea. Well then. The rest of us should get back to looking for the mystery assailant. Ugh, you're a pro. Big hints. I'll never be able to figure out what it is until like two episodes later. Yes, indeed. Indeed, before another victim appears. The Justice Hammer seemed to be increasing in size. First one, and now two. So, in other words... If there is a Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume it is even bigger than the first two. Or it could be smaller. You don't know. Oh! If you got hit with anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure. Hmm. Tell us what happened to you, Fufumi. Um, well, I woke up early this morning and started looking for Alter Ego ahead of everyone else. I went to the third floor, and that's where the strange costume man attacked me. Hmm. That must be what I witnessed at around seven this morning. Wow. After that, he dragged me to the library, and whack! Down came the hammer. And that must have been 30 or 40 minutes ago. Hmm. At around 7.30, in other words. We would have still been in the dining room. Which means Hina, Sakura, and I were together, and Kyoko was still with us. So we all have alibis. I was in the laundry room doing my laundry. Yes! Oh god. His black underwear is as black as the pitch black darkness of the blackest night. What? Why do you know that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Because I was peeking. Anyway, so that means Byakuga and Toko were together at the time. They are always together, so I'm not surprised. They also have alibis. And then the only ones who don't have alibis were when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. They're the only two we haven't seen yet. Giro and Taka. That's it, right? Very strange. By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Um... Yeah, she was supposed to be checking the second floor. But I didn't see her up there at all. <sighs> Where could she have disappeared to? Hmm. She's disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. So that's it. She might be exactly as I suspected. Hold on. Kyoko was with us in the dining hall when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. Hmm. We're not talking about who attacked them. Hmm? In other words... I'm referring to what we talked about last night. Who the mastermind spy might be. Are you saying Kyoko is working with the mastermind? That's not possible. What? Isn't it? This woman, who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies, hasn't even revealed her true identity. Hey! Oh boy. I'm pretty quick at figuring things out. Like, as of right now, Celeste's story makes no sense. So I think she's a culprit. Maybe she tried to kill Hifumi, but wasn't strong enough? I don't know yet. I'm still thinking. I'm trying to figure it out. Save this discussion for later. Right now, we need to focus on finding the suspicious individual. Okay. Yeah, if we don't hurry, there's only going to be more victims. That might be why Kyoko and Taka and Hiro haven't shown up yet. She's right. We have to do something about that mystery man first. Um, don't worry about me. I'll catch up with you guys after I rest for a bit. <laughs> Understood. Take care of yourself. Well then. Okay, let's go. Hmm. So, whoever that is running around, why are they wearing the weird costume? <laughs> <sighs> Don't bother looking for a reason from a deviant. What to do? What to do? So, what are we gonna do? Split up and look around? Huh. Our opponent is very dangerous. We don't want to know what they're capable of, even here. What? What's wrong? <laughs> I saw a shadow, something moving around at the top of the stairs. <laughs> really? Uh. Up on the second floor, then. You bastard, you won't get away from me. 
We all shot toward the stairs. He must be around there somewhere. Let's split up and cover and corner him. Well, but don't take any chances. As soon as you find him, call out and I'll come running. Oh. Okay, but what should we do? Just a second. Anything. It doesn't matter. So then. That is. Uh huh. Okay. What are you saying? Huh, do you or whatever you want. Just yell loud enough so we can hear you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I never heard such a reaction. Okay, whatever. Just hurry up and start looking, okay? Let's go. <laughs> hey, Mr. Robot, where are you hiding? If you don't come out, we're gonna decommission you. We spread out in every direction to track down the costume suspect. There it is. Okay. And I'm gonna call it for tonight. Oh, it's starting to get good. I genuinely don't remember how to play because I've been playing on my Switch too much. So, I will more than likely see you guys tomorrow. Unless one bar streams. We'll figure it out. We'll tweet it out so you guys know. Um, I can't think of anything else. Thanks everybody for coming in. And I hope you have a good night. Thanks so much for coming in. It was really nice getting to meet you and talk to you. Um, oh, it's going to be a doozy, isn't it? I can feel it. I still think Celeste. I'm hardcore leaning on Celeste. Alright, everybody. Have a good night. And I'll see you next time.